All smooth? Smooth. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Previously on Tropica Island of Treasure, Curacao. After a schoolyard pick in the first challenge... We'll go for Team Mango Peach. Team Pineapple. Team Tropical was forced to watch from the sideline. Last one! Done! Done! Yes! In the second challenge, teams had to paddle their way to fame and fortune. Team Cool Rain has completed the puzzle. At the end of the day, a nail-biting tiebreaker put Team Pineapple up against Team Tropical in the elimination challenge. There we go. Team Pineapple has got all three balls in their spot. For Team Tropical, this was the end of the road. Situated on the central coast of Curacao is Punda, meaning the point. Now, this location is famous for its rows of colorful buildings that boast bold Dutch colonial architecture. And this historical town also plays host to the biggest challenge yet for our contestants. And at the end of it all, an even bigger reward. This is Tropica Island of Treasure, Curacao. I am so excited. We finally get to see a little bit more of yourself seeing anything new at this point yeah. is just amazing we stoked super stoked the buildings are incredible the architecture the colors yeah bon tarde, smooth teams and welcome to the picturesque film start now where we stand is the iconic district of punda whereas the locals call it dushi punda which means beautiful point oh man the city is beautiful it's colorful it's lively it's everything and more i mean the pictures that you see on the internet don't do it justice this is a setting for a challenge that will test out the limits of your physical and mental strength. So I just can't wait to step into it and see what's gonna go down. In this bag, I have four unique items. Now these items will guide you on an adventure through the streets of Punda where you need to complete four unique tasks. At the completion of each stage, you need to make your way back to me to present me with an item of value that you would have received at the completion of a task. That will then allow you to move forward to the next stage. Oh man, what are we in for here, hey? <sighs> Jeepers, it's amazing. <sighs> at the start and the end of each stage, you will need to cross over the water. There are two ways in which you can do that. One, over the Queen Emma Bridge, which is a working bridge. So from time to time, it'll open and close to allow ships to come in and out of the harbor. The other way is through the ferry. It might take you some time, so it's up to you as a team to decide which suits you best. Once you've completed all four stages and you have all four items of value back on your table, that's when you can complete the fifth and final stage of the challenge, which is the puzzle in front of you. The first team to complete the puzzle will earn four points, the next team three points and so on, until we avoid the last team one point. Now there's something very important to note. Once the first team has completed the puzzle, all other teams have 15 minutes in which to complete it, failing which they will be awarded zero points. Now there's a lot to play for today. Not only a fantastic prize, but also a long life charm. We're gunning for that long life charm. It's a lot of pressure. There's a lot in the line here. Yeah. You all know how valuable those are. They will give you an advantage in one of the challenges leading up to our next elimination. And of course, even more important than that is the 30 second head start it will give you should your team make it all the way through to grand finale. I'm sort of like ready, but I know also that I'm a little bit unfit. But also when I'm looking at this man, I'm just like, yeah, motivation is possible. I'm ready, let's go. Team Cool Red, nobody knows what is inside these bags. This is completely random. Nadia puts her hand in, pulls out this baby rattle, it looks like. So yeah, we're not really sure. What... Carrot on it. So, yeah, we have no idea what this means. Team Peach, you are next. Thank you. It looks like a cute souvenir, a bottle with bluish sand and shells. And immediately I think, it's about the beach. Team Mango Peach, you are next. So I pull out this Chi Chi doll. I have no idea what it means, but it has hearts all over it, so. And Team Pineapple, last but certainly not least. I put my hand into the bag and pull out a compass. We're looking at each other like, do we go north, do we go? 
to even try to spin her. We're out. like trying We're to trying figure to this thing out, out already. Team Cool Red, you'll be tasked with discovering the arts and culture of Curacao. Team Peach, you'll be tasked with enjoying tourism in Curacao. A little something extra to Ooh. help you along. Nice. Team Mango Peach, you'll be tasked with finding the love for Curacao. Hey, love it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Senorita, oh, where is she? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> si. And Team Pineapple, you'll be going on a maritime expedition. Maritime, maritime. We look at the compass, we look at the clue, and immediately we're like, okay, it has to do with the ship. Let's look for water, let's look for a boat. Are you all ready? Yay! Three, two, one, go! You figures are iconic and curious. I'll find the cheeky store beneath the large mango figure. You'll find the next clue. Our clue tells us to go to the Chi-Chi store, so we're going to ask any local where is the Chi-Chi store. On the governor's doorstep, find the compass that leads the way. Head north to the end of the road. Your boat awaits. Douche is the word with many meanings in Curacao. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's what you call your sweetheart. Find the popular douchey wall for your next clue. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! After crossing the bridge, contestants will need to navigate these narrow streets to find this particular mural that describes one of the most famous words on the island. And here is where they'll find their next clue. Do you love Curacao as much as the next tourist? Find the store where the pirate keeps your team flavor. To find their tropical flavor, teams need to search for the I Love Curacao store with the pirate at the entrance. Behind the pirate is where they'll find their next clue. Is there a pirate store? Pirate? Pirate. This way, this way. Pirate store. Oh, Pirate store. Thank you, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I definitely see that this could be a determining factor in who gets where on time. They're going to open this suit. Halfway over the bridge, I just hear this beeping sound. And I'm like, no, no. This can't mean that the gates are shutting and this bridge is going to open for a boat. Quickly, 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 quickly. He leaves me behind and I just have to... Yeah. And I just, I made it I did just in time. It in. Yeah. yeah. We're having a bit of a rough start. So the clue says, <laughs> we need to get to the governor's doorstep and find a compass. We ask around. The governor's house. The yes. governor, yes. yes, that's here. Someone is leading us to a restaurant called the governor's. So we think, I know, we got it. We get there, it's not the right place. It's the governor's palace over there. Teams must first find the giant compass located next to the governor's house. Once here, they need to travel northeast along the waterfront past the row of historic buildings found on most postcards of Curacao. And at the end of the road, they'll find a tugboat. Go, go, go. And then in front of us, I see an information kiosk. Because what it looks like is Gigi. Yeah. Ask this lady and hopefully she can point us in the right direction. Yeah. You enter that alley, the first to your right. To your right. First, they need to make their way to the Chichi store, where this iconic Caribbean figure is sold. Then, they need to locate this specific rainbow-colored Chichi, under which they'll find their next clue. We finally get to this Chichi store, and then we are looking around under each, you know, ornament, souvenir. Beneath the large rainbow, you'll find your next clue. Warning, these figures are delicate. So just look. Look underneath them, behind them. So I just go for the biggest one, lift it up, and then there's our next clue. Okay, music is the livelihood of Curacao. I'll find the local musician, Russell, who will teach you the rhythm of the island. Making their way to Wilhelmina Square, contestants will need to locate a famous local musician known as Russell, who will teach them to play the matrimonial. Once they can hold the beat for 15 seconds, he will present them with their next clue. Let's go, let's go! Douchey wall, douchey wall! What's the clue say? Find the popular douchey wall mural for your next clue. Darren, this is not a mural. I didn't read the clue properly. We actually went to the lettering as opposed to an actual graffiti wall. I see the flag, top of the flag, so surely this musician must mean something. Lucy Muro. You want to play this tonight? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you don't want to play? Why do you want to play that? I was like, Buzzy, there's, a, there's an envelope, surely. Let me play. And I'm thinking the clue has nothing to do with playing any form of music. We have not found a mural yet, but I see an envelope and I'm thinking, you could be right. At this point, 
Team Mango Pete have taken a wrong turn and are in a completely different challenge, which means at some point they will have to return to fix their mistake. Do you think they'll make it back in time? Let us know. Hashtag Tropica. Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Such as a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam. LG G8X cell phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers, guest watches and accessories, plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. Try the new Tropica Pina Colada. Smooth. Hi, how are you? Please don't have the Tropica bottle. No, it's not, Liza. You need to pour it. Here, here, here. Uh, Got it. Oh, okay, what's the next one? Okay, next one, next one, next one. Let's see. Thank you. Take a photo of your topic in front of the three iconic sculptures. Using the smartphone provided, teams must take three selfies at three iconic landmarks around the town. One in front of the giant Curacao letters where thousands of tourists pose every week. One at the three musical birds located at the square near the waterfront and one with this iguana, located at the iconic seaside restaurant Iguana Cafe. Once they've taken all three photos, they can return to the starting point, where they can then continue to the next stage of the challenge. There's the compass. We, we at the governor's house, yeah. we see the compass, and the clue says, head northeast it's, to the yes. end of the road. We, we now are running, 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 and finally we see a boat, and we see the Tropica sign. We're making our way. At this tugboat station, teams must complete two tasks. One team member must toss a rope, ensuring to land the eye over the bollard, while the other team member must recreate a knot using nothing but the example as a reference. Once both tasks are complete, they can then receive their next clue. First head to the bow of the boat, where one teammate must toss the rope, land the loop, over the what, what, what the bollard? What is a freaking bollard? I, I don't know what we a ship to, is. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the parts of a ship are. I mean, luckily, the guys that were on the ship, they pointed at the object and I immediately was like, okay, <laughs> throw it there. Yeah. I'm getting in rhythm and uh, the guy's liking me. And uh, you get Buzzy just like cheering me on. Yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. You ready to get this, uh, that's perfect. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Okay, coconuts are, okay, read, 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 read. Coconuts are synonymous to the Caribbean. Find the Mashe Nobo Brown Market and purchase one of these tropical fruits. My man, Russell. Good, good, good. Thank you, nice to meet you. Let me show you how to play the Mashe Sit right down next to a good old Russell and just start banging out the beats as best as I can. It was a good vibe. It was good cool. vibe. very fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yeah, I think you were quite impressed, yeah. actually. He was like, oh, well done, well done. And I'm just thinking, now that I'm bruh, just give us our next clue. Yeah. Like. Coconut sauce, so anonymous Caribbean. Find the Mashi Nodo no -no round market and purchase one of these tropical fruit. Marche Nobo means new market, and this is where local vendors come to sell their fresh produce. At this stage of the challenge, the contestants need to locate a fruit store and purchase a coconut. Once they return the coconut to the starting point, that's when they can continue to the next stage of the challenge. We are sprinting to this market. We have no idea where it is, but we know we're heading in the right direction. Keep asking people for directions. Coconut! Coconut! Hello. Can't do it, Costa? We get there and this guy wants to give us four coconuts. Uno? One get there? Give me a change. That's yeah. it, Gilda. So the next step is tying that little... The knot. Yeah. The knot. We are getting a go ahead, get our next clue. Now to go face the captain. From the tugboat, contestants need to make their way to the Maritime Museum across the bridge. Once they're here, they'll need to locate the iconic bell known as Manuela. Once they've rung it, Major Step will present them with a trinket that they need to return to the starting point of the challenge. Once they've returned the trinket, they may proceed to the next stage of the challenge. Okay, uh, you must tell Manuela to call the captain, who will give you a valuable trinket. Run. Okay, all the way through, eh? Run. No stopping. Sorry, sir. Where is the um, Marshall Noble Grand Market? It's a thing. So we frantically asking locals, where can we buy a coconut? Where's the coconut? And they point us to the opposite end of the town. 
to the market. Can you see the big building? Yeah. Round big building? Yes. It's right there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> I can't breathe. My word. This is only the beginning. Dude, they're ready on the coconut. Here's the phone. Take a picture of you. Take a picture. The first section, nothing is difficult to find. It's very clear. They're all very clear landmarks. And everybody knows where they are. Exactly. So we're very happy. People are helping us. So at this point, we're not really struggling. We're just like doing it as fast as we can. Yeah. It's sound Manuela. <laughs> As soon as you see the captain, sound Manuela. And then what happened? We now run into that building, we saw the captain, and we're like, Manuela! <laughs> Manuela! Oh my goodness, oh. this is the funniest moment, but also we yeah. are very nervous, uh. and we need to find for us to get to the next clue. Eventually we find the coconut. Mm. Do you have coconuts? Yes. Please. And that wasn't too bad. The guy eh? still wanted to chop it up. He's like, no! Don't cut the coconut! I don't know, no, I need it whole, I need it whole. We need the whole coconut. We run to the captain and I'm like, it was right there in front of us the whole time. He's sitting next to a gigantic bell and we just... <laughs> ring that thing. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you have a stitch? Breathe out all your air like this. <laughs> you want to get rid of the air pockets? Team Mango Peach are making their way back to the starting point. They are currently the team in the lead. All right, guys, make your way to your table. Put down your item. Here you go, guys. It says we need to go to the governor's doorstep. Your boat awaits. Where we're supposed to go is across the bridge at the governor's palace. Let's go, Caldine! I'm coming! There's no time for selfies, but we are taking awesome pictures with this brand new LG. Okay. Let's run across. Shopping. Coming back on the bridge, Team Peach in second place so far. So we should kept the pictures and he's happy, but he didn't say that we should keep the phone, which is a bummer. There you go. That's your next one. We get our next clue and we're super excited. We're ready to crush this one and move along. Find the popular Dushi War mural. But it's more cryptic than you think. Thanks. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dushi. The running is terrible. Kay is a really good runner, so I'm very grateful to have him as my partner. But my tiny legs cannot keep up. I'm just like, here you go. Here you go. Hey, come back and read. The bridge is open, Thank but at this know. point, I am completely like, my breath has Exhausted. just left my body. I jump on my back so you can catch your breath. I decided to take a quick nap on Trevor's back. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, guys. Thank you. You are now tourists. Enjoy. Three pictures we need to take selfies. Eh? Yeah, but yeah. So this is your, your, this is your photo. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to find a pirate statue? You do, guys. No. 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 No one knows about this the pirate. pirate. So frustrated. Like this sort of thing just grates my character. Yo. So we are finally running. Oh, Setu is just sprinting. My goodness. Casta Semenya. What the hell? We go back to Cats and drop off our first object. Congratulations, I'll get you an exclude. Uh, governor's doorstep for the compass. Yes, yes, uh... <laughs> we get there, we see the tropical thing. Now I'm reading it's northeast. North what? What? Again, my friend. You're not reading. Do you say it's in all of these things or are you guessing? I'm guessing. No. Follow the instruction. He keeps pointing me to the wrong direction. And I'm saying, no, northeast. I look, I look, I look, I look. It points me that way. OK. <laughs> so we're running to the boat. The back? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We've been telling told all over the place. Eventually, we click that because we are doing tourism, it's going to be in a souvenir yeah. store. Exactly. Uh, Good. So, is this a so we need a photo. No. So read it, read it to me. So yeah, we got this clue. It says three selfies at three different sort of landmarks. And so the first two, you know, is easy. I've seen them. We've pretty much run this whole town already. Okay, make make sure to get in. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Damn but thing. now we're looking for these three magical birds. I mean, three magic. What the hell is that? 
Automatically, people point us to the gigantic douchey letters. And we're looking for a Tropica anything. We see the flag, but no clues. And we see this old man playing there. We're like, do you have our next clue? He says, yes, 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 sit down, sit down, you play with me. In a loss of concentration, Team Peach are making the same mistake as Team Mango Peach, crossing into the wrong challenge. At this stage, we don't realize that anything is wrong. We catch on the beat and the guy's impressed. He gives us the next clue, we move on. Now, the next clue, it says, to purchase a coconut. Chichi. Chichi so? We greet Bondardi, Bondardi. And this woman is just like, go, 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 go look for it. Ah, that's my girl. Our next clue is finding Russ. a sound guy Russell. called Russell. And we just saw a guy in the distance. He's just doing this. I thought he was like hitting his lap at first. And I'm like, Russell! Russell? Russell! He starts off trying to throw the rope in order to hook it. I'm losing my patience. I just give it to my partner. Kosa. There we go. Yeah! There we go. Boom! Now we need to tie knot. The three magical birds no one knew. So I just eventually said to a guy, three magical birds. Statue. A statue. Just right here. Yeah. yeah. Finally. No. And he's still smiling in the selfie. Okay, ready? Okay, we got it. Easy. Less one, than two. 10 seconds. Out of there. Yes, thank you. Hold this. Okay, go. <laughs> Step into the past and head to the maritime. Museum. Let's go. Let's we go. know exactly where it is. Smooth pain and fortune, nothing smooth. I don't even know what instrument this is. I grab it and I'm just like, okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah. It counts me in, it's giving me the click, and I just go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Yes. 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 We should start a band. Next clue, finding the coconuts. Where's the clue say again? Manula. Yeah, the captain. Manula, captain. Find the captain. I'm screaming in front of his face. Manuela! Manuela! He's on one page. Um, may I have one of these trinkets? No? I read it again. <laughs> Go back in time. <laughs> I see this bowl and I just want to ring it for the sake of ringing it. Ding! And then he points at the trinket. And he gives it to us. This is pure luck. We run to the round market. King shouts, coconuts! And I was like, coconut! Where can I? Coconut! And they just pointed us to the coconut man and we just literally say time. Cuts and guts. You and Team Peach made a dreadful error. Neither of you found the mural. Cat says we skipped a few clues. You found the big letters that spell out douchey? Yeah? Yeah. That is not a mural. A mural Cat. is a wall. Cat. So this means you've actually skipped one of the crucial steps of this journey <laughs> and you are missing one item. Okay. And at the end of this, if you continue this way, you will not complete the challenge. It's not. Okay. You need to find the mural. Now we have to go back. We get to Kat. Quick fast. And then Kat is like, no, this is not it. I'm like, what is no? He said, but we got the clue from the guy. He this gave it to no us. Douchey mural. And now we're confused because if we pick up a clue for another section of the race, aren't we then technically just better at this race? Team Mango and Peach and Team Peach did not go to the mural that says douchey, but instead found the big orange letters that led them to the wrong conclusion and thus the wrong item. Each of them was supposed to have returned back a lock in the love stage of the challenge. And so they are essentially one step behind and need to retrace all of their steps in order to bring back the right item. It's I'm looking for the douchey wall painting. Thank you. There. What's a mural? I, I still don't know what a mural is. Fuzzy! Yeah! Fuzzy! Yeah! Yeah! We found it by chance. No, we knew because we asked where it was. 
Um, to find love, you must unlock your heart. It's right at the bridge. Find the bells in the square. A four-digit code is what you need. The bells in this square hold all the answers. By adding the first four rows from the bottom up, teams will arrive at a four-digit number. And this is the combination to the lock. When they bring the lock back to the starting point, that's when they can proceed to the next stage of the challenge. Very easy to find the bells. I literally just looked up and I was like, oh, here are a series of bells. I count the number of the bells per row from the bottom up. One, three. Bottom up. Okay. Two, Two three, three, five. Five. Four. Four. Five. Three, five, three, one. one. Two, three, five, four, five, three, one. Okay. I'm overthinking things. I'm thinking if we look at the size of the bells and add all the bells that look the same size, that'll give us a four digit code. But it's much simpler than that. It's just read the number of bells from bottom to top. We are the bells. <laughs> Just gotta read it up. Two, three, five, four. Two, three, five, four. Yeah. Contestants need to make their way to the lock heart next to the bridge, and here they must search for the combination lock associated with their team color. We're at the heart. We know that this is common sense, but we're looking for a lock. At first, we just look for any type of combination lock, and then you start seeing all the other team's locks. So we know at this stage, we're the first people to get there and unlock it. But do you think we can find Team Peach's lock? No. I feel <laughs> like I am dying. Why did I decide to do this? I don't know. All these thoughts are going through my head like, why did I decide to do this? You are now going on a maritime, maritime. adventure. It's pretty quick for us to find that lock. Team Peach is already there. What's that up to me? Eagle eyes. Put it through. We leave them behind. Let's go, let's go. What's the road? I spot the peach lock. Yes! Let's go, thank you everybody! Thank you! Thank you, we love you! Thank you! I am running bare feet now because everything is just so hot. The weather is just on another level. The pressure is also on another level. At the doorstep of the governor, you will find your next clue. But we need to, we know that we need to look for a compass. I need the governor on the governor's doorstep. They said the yellow building. I have not, I have not. No? <sighs> the governor's doorstep. I need to find a compass. Is that in here? I see this building in front of us where we've been directed to and there's a security guard standing outside. So there go there's the governor statue in here. Thank you, sir. Sends us inside this big black like, courtyard and there's steps everywhere. Yeah. Look around these steps, yeah? No compass anywhere. We come back out and we're opposite right the governor's there. doorstep we see the compass. There! My head is looking up, up at this compass that is up there, like trying to figure out nothing. He was looking at I'm the like, compass. Oh. <laughs> okay, where's North? Okay, North is always facing. Yeah, it's on you. North? It's on you. <laughs> and if this is big compass on the floor, so I'm like, the compass is on the floor, yeah. <laughs> it's northeast, let's go. <laughs> northeast, this one. So go to the end. There we go. So you've completed love. Now, you unwittingly completed the culture challenge, which means you've skipped steps in order to get there. So you now need to backtrack, do the culture stage, and retrieve the clues to prove to me that you've been to all the places you need to be. Kat now says we must go back. At this point, I'm not quite sure of the order of the clues now, and yeah, I'm not happy at all. <laughs> oh, look at that. You unlocked the heart? Then we come back from the third challenge, it's like, but you didn't complete the second challenge. When you brought this back, okay, it means that you have skipped a part of the culture challenge. Uh, can we get a chi chi? No, no, can you get uh, nada? Ada? Meet your thing. How is this lady? She's just shouting at us. She's busy just saying, you guys are disappointing me, disappointing me. I can't help you, I can't help you. And I figured it out big figure, so I start lifting all of the big figure chichis. And I lifted the big one up. I didn't see the biggest one. We finally found the chichi clue. 
Eh, eh. Okay, shucks. Music is the lifeblood of Curacao. We got that. We, we need a proof, so we need to bring this clue back to, uh, to cut. Cut. Yeah, because we've already done the other things. Now we've finally finished the culture round. We run into the Chi-Chi Isle of Willemstad. And immediately I noticed that the doll right in front looks exactly like what Darren and Buzzy got. So we kind of bumped into them looking for something. They found it, then we found it two seconds later. So at this point, we have overlap to Mango Peach. It can be found next to the giant curious letters. We were that. there. Well, there's nothing enough for us to do. We're sorting this go. Kay is dragging me across this bridge at this stage. My legs want to give in, but all he says is, you have to be the strongest woman here. And I'm just like, okay. Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Such as a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam. LG G8X cell phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers, guest watches and accessories, plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. Try the new Tropica Pina Colada, smooth. I'm at this boat and I tell Nadia, you tie the knot because I see the knot is very straightforward. Is that, okay. is that fine? And I'll throw the, the rope over the bollard. Sort of, you know, good old cowboys and Indians. I'm sure I'll do this easily. And we are on to our next location. Step into the past and head to the Maritime Museum. Here you must sound Manuela to call the captain. What? Ah! Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Can you hold on to this? He carries me on his back. He carries me a superhero. I, I want to cry. So emotional. Wow, quite cute to see Setu carrying Dandere. That is team effort. Come on, guys. So I want to give up, but I'm just like, no. It Let's could go. never Let's be go. me. Let's go. Kent says, approved. Here is your guys' next clue. Do you love Curacao as much as the next tourist? Find the store where the private, where, where the pirate keeps your team flavor. Can't give us a cell phone to go find three sculptures around, the most famous ones. We knew that we had to ring something and then we would get our next clue. Look at this, something to sound, go ask them. We go inside and we go up the stairs and then on the opposite end, we see a sailor sitting and there's a bell, this big bell next to him and I say, Jeva, there the bell there. Where? There on the other end. But she knew straight away eh? and I thought the guy there was a, like a I thought it was a statue. Yeah, like, he looked like a statue. Like a dummy. <laughs> so I ring the bell, the guy gives me a boat and we're off. Oh my God. Walk, walk, walk. I'll carry you again. Back to cats we go. Yeah, I, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna fill up like three times, honestly. Well yes, done, guys. <laughs> now, find love. Perfect, thank you. I'm in no mood for love right now, honestly. Team Mango Peach, you've completed the love segment, you've completed the maritime segment as well as the culture segment. Now it's time for you to be a tourist. Best thing that we did for ourselves was every time if we get a clue from cats, we just go to the information desk and ask, where is this place? Is this the pirate? Here we go. Thank you. It says, on the governor's doorstep, find the compass that leads the way. I think this is the worst leg of the challenge. The initial clue seems very simple, simple. but there are actually... We get to the governor's doorstep, we see governor's doorstep, we figure out northeast. I tell Kay, they mentioned a ferry before, so we're probably gonna have to take the ferry right now. This is our last item that we need to get, and we haven't used the ferry yet. So to oh, me, this is hard. simple. At least we got a break. Not the case, obviously. Yeah, I know exactly where it is. I know where the murals are. So we back across the silly bridge. In the distance on my right, I see some murals on the wall. I'm like, this is it, Nadia. We don't need to go to information, and there we are. And me, I'm just trusting. Must be one of these two. I'm gonna ask those guys quick. 
Oh, and man, am I looking up and down these murals, and there is nothing here. Okay, sorry, I that I've saw that the murals so were there from information, but it's down the main street. We're standing at the ferry dock, and we're waiting forever. Eventually, I read the clue again, and it says the end of the road, and I'm like, snap. We've been standing here for 15 minutes and we're not even at the end of the road. So immediately we run down and we see the tugboat. Where can I find pirate the pirate store? Pirate, pirate. pirate. You know, there is a pirate here on the right. On the right hand side. Thank you. Only on the right hand side, yeah. Going to the store, I'm like, where's our bottle? We get it. Now I just need to relax so we can read the next step. These people must have thought we were completely crazy or I was upset with him or he was upset with me because we kept running from each other. Ask oh, someone else. I'm gonna ask, um, Don't run too far. Like... You can run. <laughs> so people must have thought like I was running after him because we were fighting because I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it was right here. I nearly went past it. Here's a mural. Let's just get our next clue. To find love, you must unlock your heart. But in order to do so, you must know the combination. Find the bells in the square. No one knows what a square is. Like, do they only deal with round shapes in this country? Find the bells in the square. So they put up bells for us, but it must be in the square. Oh, they put a bell for yes. the Yes. Where's the square? Like a square. Come on. Okay, don't... That way. Okay, don't worry. Thank you. So that's the ball right there. <laughs> so initially, I opt to throw. I throw. Okay, easy. Second section is a very complex, but I think common knot on boats. And I'm very good with puzzles. So to me, this looks like it's going to be easy. However, the entire rope is the same color. So parts start overlapping and confusing me. But Kay's just like, girl, you've got this. Weave and weave and weave, and we can figure it out. Lo and behold, we got our second clue quite quickly. Good. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes, Look, thank you so much. Read. Step into the past and head to the Maritime Museum. And sound Manuela. It's cool. They have half label. We have this. It's Take not cool. Bottom. Maybe it's on the other side. Maybe there's two pirates. It's all up to us where we start. So the first one... Curacao letters. Curacao letters. Take a nice picture. Oh, nice. So now to our next one, which is finding the beds. And we get there. Take a nice picture. Now run to Iguana Cafe. We find the bell. We find Massive, the bell. right in front of us. And we work out the combination to our lock. And now to your point. There it is. So we run to this heart. Now if I need to just find a lock with a combination on it, a new lock. You can help us. Darren, stop. Think. Read. All right. Take your bottle and show it around town. Yeah. Take a photo of your Tropica in front of the three iconic yeah. sculptures. The first one's easy, find the Curacao letters. I know where that is. We didn't take the photographs. We asked people to do it for us. Yes? Okay, is that good? Yeah, Thank you thank so you. much. Buzzy has an idea. Let's go to the restaurant. So we asked the waitress, do you know where the three birds are? She doesn't know. But she does know where the iguana cafe is. Thank okay. you. Let's go there, let's go there. We want a cafe, right here. Yeah, you can take three photos. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Such a blessing. Um, the three musical birds. We asked the waitress at the Iguana Cafe. She leads us in the right direction. Done. This is so much fun. We're running around a silent museum, literally shouting the word, Manuela, Manuela, Manuela. <laughs> Like we're in some type of soap opera. So first thing I see is the captain. And I speak to the captain, like, yo, Cap, we're here. We need the next clue. And then he just does this, he on reading his book. So now I'm just like, maybe there's something we need to do first in order for the captain to give us the clue. I go up to the third floor, and then I look back at the captain, I see a bell in front of him. So I run my buttocks off, and I get to the bell. Finally, the clue. Eventually, this lovely, lovely man says, uh, Team Cool Red! <laughs> Team Cool Red! Yes, yes, thank you! Yeah. 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 The support of the, of the tourists and the locals is amazing. Eh? Even though they sent us all over the place, they were great. Two, three, but the five, gate four. is locked, it doesn't matter. The two, bridge, three. look at the bridge. Yeah, two, three, four, four. Whoa, whoa. 
We have our combination lock, but now the bridge is closed. This bridge. Where's the bridge? It's all the way there. Let's go. Is it open? Smooth fame and fortune, nothing smooth. So we finished the three pitches. We're running to the bridge. No. The bridge is open. It usually moves a few See, meters out, but I'm, this time it was on the other side. I'm looking at your face yeah. and you want to swim across. I was ready. Now what do we do? Let's catch the ferry. At the very last minute, Trevor realizes that there's a ferry leaving. We make it to the ferry and there is Team Mango Peach. Who's ahead of who? Team Cool Red says they've got one more clue. We have no more clues to do. So we lie and say we've got one more clue too because we smart. This is the dub diary of Team Mango Peach. Yeah. We're out here and think that we're leading. So Team Cool Red and Team Mango and Peach have decided to go for the ferry instead of the bridge option, but now the bridge is closing and they can't get off the ferry. Apparently Team Pineapple's on the ferry as well, but we have no idea where they are. Yeah, how did they get I don't know. We're still on the ferry and we're about to dock and already there's a bit of a scuffle. People are moving towards the entrance. <laughs> jumps without giving me a heads up and now it's just between us and Team Mango Peach. Because they're jumping ahead of us. Once teams have completed all four tasks, they'll need to return back to the starting point where they can begin the fifth and final stage of the challenge, the completion of this puzzle. They'll need to maneuver their team colored block from the top of the puzzle to the bottom until it aligns with the marker. The team that completes the puzzle first wins the challenge. Oh yeah. Well, let me see the photos. Photos, photos. We get there first, but they get there shortly after us. We show Kat our three pictures. We've done it, we've completed. He's like, okay, cool. Start with your puzzle. Three, two, one, let's go, Mango Peach. I'm way too rushed. I can't do this. Fuzzy, take it. All right, there we go. We got the photos, we got everything here. Go, Team Cool Red. You gotta move them around, slide them around. You can only slide them around. The pressure is immense now. We get back, we drop off our um, third clue. We see the other teams are already starting with their puzzles. And as soon as I see that, I realize we have 15 minutes to cross this bridge, get whatever clue or whatever challenge that we have to do out the way and come back. A sliding puzzle. Sliding puzzle. The pits. No, wait, wait. Okay, up. I work it, I work it. I fail. I'm calm now. Let me try to work this out. This she is a common word in Curacao, which means sexy, beautiful. Love, beautiful. Can't the number of bells per row from the bottom up? It's our second clue for us to count all the bells up there in order for us to get a code to open the final lock. Okay, it's one, three, five, four, five, three, two. So the puzzle is a bit tricky because we need to get our red block down to the bottom. You silly long blocks. Mm, the, long, the long blocks that are throwing us off a little bit. I'm the one that's keeping calm and collected. Darren, it's not about speed, it's about accuracy. Hold on, okay. Relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. Eventually, you know, I just moved this one piece and then everything fell. Yeah, then it kind of just was like a sequence and then the big guy came to the bottom. Please come look, please come look. Team Cool Red have completed the challenge. <laughs> this is honestly the biggest victory to date, eh? I don't even have energy like, to celebrate. I'm heartbroken that they beat us. So relax. Okay, cool. Now we have time. Okay, go, go, go. 15 minutes. Let's go. Team Peach are on their way across the bridge with their last item, ready to start the puzzle, guys. When we arrive at the final stop to do the puzzle, I can see Team Cool Red is already done, which is so annoying because it means they're number one again, and we now have to catch up within 15 minutes. So I'm pretty nervous. It's so stressful doing this puzzle. Mm -hmm. Sliding puzzle here yeah. next. Cool. I don't think Mango Peach has a very strong puzzle mindset, so hopefully this will allow us to catch up. Is there a clue for us? Is there any way to reset the puzzle? Huh? Got Done. It. Team Mango and Peach, complete the puzzle. I'm really surprised that they got it before we did. What's wrong with you? Why am I always trailing behind you? The lock 
is in some very big huts that I also saw there, chief, by the by the bridge. By the bridge. Yeah. Said to his brother counting, dude, we've got ten minutes. We've got ten minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's just get the code in and let's run. But they said we must count the. It's open. It's 23. It's 23:54. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Team Pineapple are on their way. Let's run with Tengiti. Habashwe. Pineapple's here, and immediately I tell Kay, don't worry, we've got this. Pineapple takes forever to do anything. Don't pick them up, don't pick them up. Slide. Lo and behold, this is their fastest puzzle yet. I think it took them a max of a minute. They never saw it coming. They, they never expected it. We're done! Yes, well done! Team Pineapple, complete the challenge. Yes. This is disheartening. This is one of the most unbelievable moments in the history of Tropica Island of Treasure Season 9. <laughs> and we are top three. A show. Smooth teams, congratulations on finishing this massive challenge. Dare I say, I think you all got your fair share of exercise Woo! for the day. Yes. All right, so here are the scores as they stand now. Team Cool Red with four points, Team Mango Peach with three, Team Pineapple with two, and Team Peach with one point. So, after this massive exertion of energy, We've arranged something special for you to unwind at one of Curacao's very exclusive spots. So, come on, let's have some fun. Yes, come on. After a long and grueling day racing through the streets of Curacao, teams head to the famous Saint Tropez Beach Bar for Tropica Pina Coladas and some much needed downtime. This is exactly what we need after such a grueling day. Oh, it's so nice just being in a new environment. Oh, and how beautiful as well. It's hey? so nice, like, yeah. This pool yeah. lapping, like the, the ocean waves are crashing yeah. into this pool, basically. I mean, it's just... It's I waste no time before I get into that pool. Yes. I waste no time. I'm tired. I just want to swim and relax and live the smooth life. We're still pretty bummed from the result of the previous challenge. So it's difficult to be in a mindset of like enjoying ourselves, having fun, living the smooth life when we know we just finished last and it's not fun. I see you guys are enjoying the smooth life and I don't think it could get any better than this. Sunset, waves crashing against the rocks, Tropica on tap. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Especially after what you had to go through today. Team Cool Red, how was that experience for you guys? Man, it was pretty hectic, eh? How are you feeling? I thought that challenge would be the death of me, for sure. <laughs> Team Mango Peach, at the start of the race, you were out of those blocks so quick. And then what happened, Buzzy? Oh, man, I think it was just a catch-up game from there on amongst each other. <laughs> um, but we managed to finish strong. But then talk about team effort, Team Pineapple. Ndando, at some point, Setu was carrying you on his back. <laughs> like oh, Peppa yeah, yeah. In my whole life, I've never felt like that. <laughs> never again, never again. Setu is literally my scary. Super like, Setu. Yeah. Super, Super Setu. Setu. Super Setu. Super Setu indeed, man. If it wasn't for him, I would have given up a long time ago. Yeah. Thank you so much. Teamwork makes the dream work, so I couldn't have done it without her. So, equal parts. Well said, man. And for you guys as Team Peach, a valiant effort also at the end to have finished the challenge. The boys forecast, we had fun, it was amazing. I love the interaction, man. The pe people really try to help us, yeah. Yeah. but they don't know directions for teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, I, I agree on that. I love the accents, eh? Go straight, then left, then left again, and then right. And we're like, okay. <laughs> if only your left was your left, because yeah. you're showing another way as well, bro. Yes, how did Darren finish this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the biggest prize to play for in this challenge were these two long life charms, which now proudly belong to Team Cool Red. Come and get them, Jeff. <laughs> and you know what those mean? It means an added advantage in one of the challenges leading up to our next elimination and, of course, an additional 30 seconds head start in the grand finale should your team make it all the way through to there. And, of course, this was a winner-takes-all challenge, so... Nadia, Trevor, two additional prizes for you to enjoy. You, you need some Come and get it, come on. Need some recovery Don't be all coy. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your evening. Get some rest. We continue with challenges next time I see you. All right. Thank you. All smooth? Smooth. Tropica. Nothing smoother.